Blepharocholasis is an inflammation of the eyelid that is characterized by exacerbations and remissions of eyelid edema, which results in a stretching and subsequent atrophy of the eyelid tissue, leading to the formation of redundant folds over the lid margins. It typically affects only the upper eyelids, and may be unilateral as well as bilateral. Presentation Complications Complications of blepharocholasis may include conjunctival hyperemia, excessive blood flow through the moist tissues of the orbit, chemosis, entropion, ectropion, and ptosis. Causes Blepharocholasis is idiopathic in most cases, i.e., the cause is unknown. Systemic conditions linked to blepharocholasis are renal agenesis, vertebral abnormalities, and congenital heart disease. Pathophysiology Blepharocholasis results from recurrent bouts of painless eyelid swelling, each lasting for several days. This is thought to be a form of localized angioedema, or rapid accumulation of fluid in the tissues. Recurrent episodes lead to thin and atrophic skin. Damage to the levator palpebri superioris muscle causes ptosis, or drooping of the eyelid, when the muscle can no longer hold the eyelid up. Diagnosis Differential Diagnosis Dermatocholasis is sometimes confused with blepharocholasis, but these are two different conditions. Treatment slash surgery A surgeon trained to do eyelid surgery, such as a plastic surgeon or ophthalmologist, is required to decide and perform the appropriate surgical procedure. The following procedures have been described for blepharocholasis. External levator aponeurosis tuck. Blepharoplasty. Lateral canthoplasty. Dermis fed grafts. These are used to correct atrophic blepharocholasis after the syndrome has run its course. Epidemiology. It is encountered more commonly in younger rather than older individuals. Plasty. Fed. These.